Well, they're fighting over who's going to sit in the front. Hey guys! Hey mate! How you going? <laughs> Jump on in, seatbelts on. Well, welcome to Carpool Conversations, guys. I can't believe it. Here we are in Mount Gambia it's with. Good to be here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's awesome. Great. Louise Adams and James Van Cooper. Look, how did you guys meet? I was on this um, this little show called uh, X Factor, and um, I'd convinced Mr. Blunt, um, my mentor, to let me play an electric guitar on the show. Awesome. But how do we get my electric guitar from Mount Gambia to Sydney in a matter of days? Bit difficult. <laughs> so I heard about this uh, young musician in Sydney and um, someone put me on to him and he kindly offered to lend me one of his guitars. And I was like, you know, maybe you should get your guitar and we'll see what you actually sound like. <laughs> <laughs> and my, my instincts were good. Um, you're actually not too bad. Thanks, Louise. I also <laughs> like the way you sing. <laughs> Thank you. That's okay. It's obvious that you guys have a, have a good relationship and there's a real chemistry between you um, as, as mates and your ambassadors for Are You OK, which is awesome. We're so lucky to have you guys. Talk to us about why Are You OK is a, a message that's important to you both. You know, I grew up in the country. I, I live in the country and um, I guess, um, you know, whether it's just being being part of those communities or, or just being someone that people often come and talk to now because of my... You know they know me um, since the show. I, I guess I I just know that those you know that simple act of having conversations and you know trying to make people on both sides of the coin feel comfortable about talking about mental health and how they're feeling. We've all been through it. You can have lots of people around you that you love, but if you're not having some of those conversations, it, you can still feel really alone. So are you okay? Really, yeah, really hit a hit a nerve with me. And we're incredibly lucky to have to have you guys. And how about you, James? And my belief in this whole initiative is because I really believe in the power of conversation. I, I believe that that is the way real change can come, and not just in our friends, but all over across the board. I think that if enough people can start a conversation about these topics, that's how thing that's that's how change can come. And for me, <coughs> it was one conversation that saved my life. It, it was someone <coughs> saying, "If you keep acting this way and you keep doing what you're doing, you are going to die." And, and I can assure you that if I hadn't had that conversation, that would be the case, and I wouldn't be in this lovely Audi. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the sponsor plug there, uh, James. Do you think it's harder with a public profile? Like, do you see uh, trying to sort of make a go of your career in this space from from people that, that we've spoken to it can be hard? Yeah. Have a share of disappointments. How do you guys support each other? <clears throat> I think like one of the challenges as a public personality these days is the prevalence of social media. Um, a lot of people feel this i this idea of oh I've got to be the image of myself that I. I expect me to be or others expect me to be and so I think that power of having the conversations and saying look you know you don't have to have that all on your shoulders it doesn't matter if your marriage isn't you know perfect or your relationship isn't perfect like talk to people around you about it um, and all of a sudden all that pressure you're putting on yourself and on your shoulders starts to evaporate a bit yeah so what would you say to anyone who's worried about someone first of all let them know that you're there. It's something that we take for granted sometimes, but you actually sometimes need to really say it as well. Like, are you okay? Um, you might not want to talk about it now, but just know I'm here to talk to you if you want to. Even if they don't open up to you right there, I think sometimes people take that with them and they might sit in bed that night and think, you know what, that person reached out to me. Maybe I should have a chat to them. Guys, you've given us some great insights. You've shared a bit about yourselves. So I'm going to pull over here I'm the and black uh, I'm going to let you guys do we out. Sing? Um, well, you can if you want. Come now, baby. I'll come and run in.